Now, only thing is it has to break through the soft bone in the on the head and break through that, which is the actualization of baptism. Baptism is not an artificial thing. It is an actualization. But the energy that does it is, we call it sleeping energy, in the triangular bone called as sacrum. That means the Greeks knew that this is a sacred bone, that they called it sacrum. This energy has to rise and break through that fontanelle bone area and connect us to that subtle divine power which we have never felt during human awareness. Thus, we get connected to this divine power and we start feeling it on our fingertips. It is described in the Qur'an that at the time of resurrection your hands will speak and they will give witness against you. That is, you start feeling your own centers, these are five, six and seven centers, and they indicate what's wrong with you, within yourself, what's the problem. Also you can feel the cool breeze coming out of your head, cool breeze of the Holy Ghost, because this sleeping power which is called as the Kundalini, Kundala means coils, is the power of pure desire within us. So now we have <coughs> this kind of a mechanism within us existing. Now this is a living process of evolution and we must understand that we don't pay for living process and we can't even explain it because when you take a small little seed and put it in the Mother Earth, it germinates by itself, spontaneously. You don't pay to the Mother Earth anything. And when it germinates, it grows into a tree and produces thousands of seeds. So in that little seed, <coughs> the map of all the things it was going to create is there. How it works? We never ask this question. We take all the things for granted. Now, put your left hand towards me, comfortably. Put your feet apart from each other. And now, put your right hand on your heart and close your eyes. <coughs> Here you have to ask me a very important question. In your heart, you ask me a question as you would ask a computer. You can call me Sri Mataji or Mother, whatever you like. Mother, am I the Spirit? Ask the question. In your heart, not loudly. Three times, ask in your heart, not loudly. Mother, am I the Spirit? You have to only ask in your heart. <coughs> If you are the Spirit, you become your own guide, you become your own master, you become your own guru. <coughs> so now take down your right hand into the upper portion of your abdomen on the left hand side. <coughs> and here you have to ask another question three times, not loudly, in your heart, 
Mother, am I the spirit? Uh, mother, am I my own master? Mother, am I my own master? Ask this question three times. Am I my own master? I have told you <coughs> that I respect your freedom and the pure knowledge cannot be forced on you. So please take your right hand in the lower portion of your abdomen <coughs> and say it six times, asking me, Mother, please give me pure knowledge. I cannot force on you, you have to ask in your free will. As soon as you ask for the pure knowledge, the Kundalini starts moving upward. So now we have to nourish the higher centers with our self-confidence. Raise your right hand in the upper portion of your abdomen. <coughs> Press it hard on the left hand side. And here, with full confidence, you have to say it ten times in your heart, not loudly. Mother, I am my own master. Please say this ten times. Mother, I am my own master. <coughs> I told you at the very outset that the greatest truth about you is that you are not this body, you are not this mind, you are not these conditionings, emotions, nor this ego, but you are the Spirit, you are the pure Spirit. So now raise your right hand <coughs> onto your heart and ask here, or say with full confidence twelve times, Mother, I am the Spirit. <coughs> Just say it without any hesitation. Say it twelve times, please. For your information, you have to know that a Divine Power is the source of knowledge, is the ocean of knowledge, is the ocean of love. <coughs> it is the ocean of peace and ocean of bliss. But above all, it is the ocean of forgiveness. So you cannot commit any mistake which cannot be dissolved by the power of this ocean of forgiveness. So please raise your right hand in the corner of your neck <coughs> and your shoulder, push it back as much as possible and turn your head to your right and with full confidence please say sixteen times, full confidence in your heart. Mother, I am not guilty at all. <coughs> oh. 
All right. <clears throat> As I told you before, that you have to forgive everyone. And those who say it is difficult, they must know that it is a myth whether you forgive or don't forgive. But if you don't forgive, then you play into the wrong hands and get yourself tortured by yourself. So please forgive. In general, everyone, not counting how many people you have to forgive, what you have to forgive, but just say, by raising your hand and putting it on top of your forehead across, putting down your head as much as possible, resting on your hand, please say, <coughs> with an open heart, please say, Mother, I forgive everyone. <clears throat> please say it, please say, otherwise it is difficult later on for me, I have to clear out everybody's <clears throat> hagya and it takes too much time then. So best is to say it from your heart. After all, you are not going to miss your Self-realization for that. Now, take back your right hand <coughs> on the back side of your head and put your head on it, resting on it, upward. Here you have to say for your own satisfaction, O oh Divine, if I have done any mistakes, please forgive me. But don't feel guilty. Don't count your mistakes, don't think about them. In general you have to say, O oh Divine, please forgive me if I have done any mistakes or anything wrong, anything against you. Now, stretch your palm. Stretch your palm and put the center of your palm on top of the fontanelle bone area, which was a soft bone in your childhood. Now, put down your head <coughs> properly. And here, push back your fingers as far as possible. Please push back, this is very important. And now put a pressure on your scalp and move your scalp slowly, seven times clockwise. Here again I respect your freedom and I cannot force Self-realization on you. So here you have to say seven times, bending your head properly and pressing it hard, moving seven times, Mother, please give me my Self-realization. Please ask seven times, please.
بشری 